Hello there, this is MathGuide.com and we're going to be graphing linear inequalities. Now for this video we're specifically going to be sticking to uh, inequalities that are in slope-intercept form. We ha we'll have another one that has uh, standard form. Alright, so let's take a look at number one. Uh, problem number one over here has uh, a slope of two-thirds, right, because that has the, that's the coefficient of your x term, that's the slope and it has a y-intercept of 1. So we've graphed points before, and if you haven't, you can always go back to one of our videos that shows you how to graph. So we start at 1 on the y-axis, that's the y-intercept, and then we go up 2 thirds. So, or I should say, we, our slope is 2 thirds, so we're going to go up 2, right 3, and that puts us over there. Uh, okay, so we went up right got to grab the right color. So up to right 3, that puts us right there. All right, now we're going to have a line. Now when we draw this line, we're going to have to be very careful because our inequality here is a less than. So when we start graphing this line, we're going to have to be really careful. So first of all, you'll notice that there's no equality. So because there's no equality, we do not have a line specifically. So all we really have is the border of a line. Now that was a pretty bad looking line, so I think I could do better than that. So when you graph this, make sure you use dash line, and that dash line represents the border. Now when we graph this, there is shading. So anytime there's an inequality, we're going to have to determine which side of the line to shade. Now when you do this, to do, when you determine which side of the line to shade, you use a test point. Now you could use any point off the line. So any point that's not on the line you could use as a test point. Uh, I really recommend using uh, 0, 0, the origin, because it's just a really easy test point to use. Uh, what, I'm, what do I mean by test point? Well a test point is I am now going to replace, right, because this is uh, x and y. If you look at this, you know, point, all points are x comma y. So I'm going to put in to see, does this point work or not? Should I shade this side of the line, the below this line or not? We're going to use this test point to determine that. So we're going to put in 0 for y. We're going to put in 0 for x. And we're going to calculate. So uh, I'm not sure it's less than, but I'll put the less than there. I've got to multiply and then add 1. So we multiply anything times 0. Anything times 0 is, of course, 0. And we add 0 plus 1, we get 1. All right, now we de determine the truth of this statement. Is 0 less than 1? Yes, it is. All right, so that... That means this point works. This point does indeed work. In other words, this side of the line is the correct side to shade. So therefore, I'm going to be shading below the line. So this test point indicated to us that below the line works, so therefore shade, shade, uh, shading below the line is the correct side of the line to shade. All right, so we're done with that. We're done with that uh, graph. We've shaded below the line. We got the line too. All right, let's go on to the second one. So our second one uh, has a, a slope of 3 and a y-intercept of negative 4. So again, we start at the y-intercept. We're going to put ourselves a point right there. All right, and our slope is 3. Now remember, 3 means really 3 over 1. So that means we go up 3. 1, 2, 3. Right, 1, 2, 3, and then over 1. And we put our dot there. Now for this inequality, you'll notice there actually is an equal, you know, an equation there. There's an equal portion. So when we graph the line for this one, we are going to graph a solid line. Because in this case, our line, oh boy, that's horrible, our line does exist it is solid. It is an equal sign. It is solid. A solid line. All right. Now, again, we're going to have to determine what side of the line do we shade. Again, we could use any point that's not on the line. I could use this point over here. I could use this point over here. I could use this point, any point I want. 
I always like using the origin. It is just really a convenient test point. All right, so let's let's test it. So what we do is go into our equation. Again, we're going to replace the y with 0 and the x with 0. Everything else with our equation is going to stay the same. So I still put the 3 and the 4 there. So I got to multiply. I got to multiply 3 times 0, which is 0. And uh, 0 minus 4 is negative 4. And you can see, is 0 greater than or equal to negative 4? Well, yes, it is. It, it is. So it turns out that this point does work, and we are going to shade that side of the line. So everything above the line is the correct side. In other words, all the points on this side of the line would work. Now, I feel kind of bad here because the test points that I had used are all working. And I really think it's important for me to demonstrate that there are points that do not work. All right, now let's say I had chosen to use this point as my test point. I am going to show you that this point should not work. This side of the line should not be shaded, so it's not going to work. So if I go back to this, well, let me use a color that can be seen. Let's try uh, white. So let's go back, rewrite this equation. I'm going to put y is greater than or equal to 3x minus 4. And again, we're going to test that point that I had just shown here. Well, this point is 2, negative 3. Just looking at my graph, right? It's 2 to the right, 3 down. So uh, remember, that's the y value is negative 3. Don't get confused there. That is the y value. And then the x value is 2. So I'm substituting in this point, and I want to see, does that point work? Okay, well, now just a little bit of math. Let's see, 3 times 2 is 6. And I'm going to take 6 minus 4. 6 minus 4 is 2. All right, now we determine, is this true or false? Well, let's see. Is negative 3 greater than a negative greater than a positive? No way. It does not work. So you could see that, yes, there are times when you choose points that don't work. And that shows you that this side of the line should not be shaded. So that verifies that fact. So we did shade the correct side. All right. So uh, make sure you go back to mathguide.com. Check out all our other videos. And, of course, remember, we do have interactive quizzes. We'll throw you a problem. Check your answer. See if you know what you're doing. All right, take care.